Best New Cars for 2017 The best new cars coming in 2017, including the BMW 3 Series, Audi A6, Nissan Micra, Ford Fiesta, and more. It has been a great year for new cars in 2016, but 2017 looks to be even better with numerous new models scheduled to come onto the market. The world's top car manufacturers have a long list of new cars that are due but, with so many on the horizon, we thought we'd better pick out some of the very best new cars for 2017. The SUV boom is set to continue in the next few years as every car company tries to get a share of the rapidly growing sector, but you'll also find a wide range of super minis, hatchbacks, and family cars on the best new car list. Best New Cars of 2016 Updates to executive and luxury models such as the BMW 3 Series, Audi A6, and Mercedes S-Class are all expected in 2017, as well as new versions of some of the most important and best-selling cars on the market with the Volkswagen Golf, Nissan Qashqai, and Ford Fiesta all do updates. Best New Car Deals So to find out what models will be hitting showroom in the future, check out our list of best new cars in 2017 below. The Best New Cars of 2017 Abarth 500X Price 25,000 pounds, EST. On sale, mid-2017. It looks as though 2017 will be the year of the hot crossover, and Fiat will be one of the first makers to join the party with an Avarth version of its 500X. The styling of the test mule snapped on test in our spy shot has been somewhat toned down to throw people off its scent, but the beefier brakes are a giveaway that this is no ordinary Fiat 500X. The new flagship model will get the same kind of standout look as the Avarth 500 hot hatch, so it will be fitted with big wheels, lowered suspension, and deep spoilers. There will also be a sports exhaust and plenty of Scorpion badges and graphics. Power is expected to come from the 1.4-liter .4 four-cylinder turbocharged engine used in Fiat's 124 Spider. However, power is expected to be increased to around 200 bhp to help compensate for the extra weight of the larger 500X. The Abarth's chief rival will be the Nissan Juke Nismo R's. Alfa Romeo 5 Series. Price, from £35,000, EST. On sale, late 2017. Alfa Romeo won't stop its range expansion with the new Giulia Compact Executive Saloon, it's also eyeing a larger executive model to challenge the BMW 5 Series. Previewed by our exclusive image, the new, as yet unnamed four-door will use an enlarged version of the Julius platform, so expect rear-wheel drive and a range of economical diesel and sporty petrol engines. A rapid quadrifoglio version, designed to take on the BMW M5 and Mercedes AMG E63, will head the range. Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Price, from £32,000, EST. On sale, 2017. Alfa Romeo will plug the SUV-shaped hole in its range with the Stelvio, set to be unveiled at November's La Motor Show. With sales targets of 400,000 cars a year by the end of 2018, the brand has a great deal riding on this model. As with the Giulia Saloon, the Stelvio will lead the brand's charge in America, so it should share that car's 8-speed auto box and 2.2-liter diesel. As our exclusive image shows, the styling will be instantly recognizable. Alpine Sports Car Price, £50,000, EST on sale, mid-2017. After a near 20-year absence, Alpine will be brought back to showrooms by parent company Renault next year, with an all-new sports car at the Vanguard. The newcomer was previewed by the Vision Concept at March's Geneva Motor Show, and proves the brand's lofty ambitions, rivals will include the likes of Porsche 718 Cayman given its expected £50,000 price. It gets sleek looks and a diminutive body inspired in part by the old A110 sports car, plus a futuristic two-seat interior design. Like the Porsche, 
The Alpine will get a four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine mounted in the middle of the car, with Renault promising around 250 bhp. That may not sound like much, but the car is also expected to have a curb weight of around 1,100 kilograms. Bosses say it should be able to sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. Power will be sent to the rear wheels via a dual clutch paddle shift gearbox, and a bespoke chassis tuned by Renault Sport should ensure it has the cornering ability to match the best in the business. We won't get full details until the production version is revealed next year, but things look promising. Aston Martin V8 Vantage Price, from £90,000, EST On sale, Autumn 2017 Aston Martin is continuing its range revamp apace. Hot on the heels of the new DB11, the British firm will unveil an all-new V8 Vantage late in 2017. The new small model will share its underpinnings with the V12 engine DB11, but power will come courtesy of Mercedes, because the newcomer features the same 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 as the AMG GT. The V8 Vantage will get a manual gearbox, too. As before, there will be a Vantage Roadster to follow, and there's every possibility that the V12 Vantage will also make a return. Audi A6 Price, £35,000, EST On sale, mid-2017 Mercedes launched its high new E-Class Executive Saloon earlier this year, while we've already driven BMW's 2017 5 Series in prototype form. Not to be outdone, Audi is preparing an all-new A6 for launch next year. As you can see from our exclusive image, it won't break new ground in terms of looks, but design boss Mark Licht says the A6 will start Audi moving towards providing models with their own distinct identity. The car's powertrains are brand new, with electric turbo tech likely to feature for improved performance and efficiency. The chassis is also new, so the A6 will weigh up to 100 kilograms less than its predecessor thanks to the advanced MLB platform. It should be sharp to drive but you might not have to in certain situations, as the new A6 will feature Audi's next generation autonomous driving technology. We've tested this in an A7 prototype. The A6S greater refinement means it'll be able to take the strain for you on longer journeys exactly what a good executive should do. Audi A6 Al Road Price, from £47,000, EST On sale, 2017 a trio of prologue concepts seen at motor shows over the past 12 months has given an idea of what buyers can expect from the next generation Audi A6. The final prologue was the Al Road seen at the Shanghai Motor Show in April. This features the usual chunky off-road look associated with Audi's high-riding estate, but this time with a much sleeker body. Under the skin, the Prologue Al Road features a petrol-electric hybrid drive system with acclaimed 724 bhp, which could potentially power the next RS6 Avant. Audi A8 Price, from £63,000, EST On sale, early 2017 Limousines are a showcase for the cutting-edge technology that many manufacturers are working on, and the next Audi 8 is set to debut the German maker's latest autonomous driving software. The Level 3 system will allow drivers to hand over control of all driving duties to the car, even allowing owners to take their eyes off the road. And while previous versions of the 8 have set the template for the rest of Audi's saloon car range, the latest generation is set to get a unique look inspired by the striking prologue concept seen at the La Motor show back in 2014 that will mark it out as the flagship of the range. A 3.0-liter V6 diesel will kick off the A8 range, while more powerful V8 petrol and diesel engines will also be available. At a later stage, Audi will introduce a pumped-up S8 to compete with the likes of the Mercedes-AMG S63 and BMW M760Li. Audi Q5 Price, from £33,000, EST On sale, early 2017 It may not look it, but the second-generation Q5 is all-new in every sense of the word. 
Although the SUV's styling hasn't moved on all that much, with its familiar proportions and safe design, beneath the surface there's a new chassis and engine technology. This latest Q5 has taken design cues from its Q7 big brother, and scaled them down. The bold grille and slightly sharper edges are the big changes visually, but it's inside that Audi has moved things on further. New Audi Q5 2017 Review A new steering wheel design, center console and dash give a more premium look, while Audi's 12.3-inch virtual cockpit replaces the traditional dials behind the wheel. Thanks to the VW Group's new MLB underpinnings, the new Q5 is around 90 kilograms lighter than before. That cutting-edge chassis also brings with it a range of updated engines, with a 148bhp 2.0-liter diesel powering the entry-level model. There's a more potent 187bhp version of the same engine, while a 228bhp 3.0-liter V6 diesel sits above it. The sole petrol engine is a 249bhp 2.0 turbo, but hot SQ5 and RSQ5 versions of the SUV are on the cards. Audi SQ2 Price, from £33,000, EST On sale, 2017 The new Q2 is only just in showrooms, but as our spy shot shows, Audi already has well advanced plans for a high performance version. As the SUV shares its platform and running gear with the A3 hatch, the hot SQ2 could use the 306bhp 2.0-liter TFC turbo petrol engine and four-wheel drive system from the S3. That also means the choice of six-speed manual or S-tronic gearboxes, plus the possibility of an even more powerful RSQ2 model. BMW 3 Series Price, from £31,000, EST On sale, late 2017 a new BMW 3 Series is always big news, but when the 7th generation model arrives at the end of next year it will also be joined by a Tesla fighting all-electric version. The new 3 Series will make use of BMW's expertise in carbon fiber construction currently featured on the larger 7 Series with an all-new lightweight chassis and a range of new 3, 4, and 6-cylinder engines. The electric version is expected to achieve a range of around 300 miles. Likely to kick off the engine lineup will be a new 1.5-liter 3-cylinder diesel, although more powerful 2.0-liter 4-cylinder diesels will continue to be the more popular option. And for eco-minded buyers who don't want to go down the all-electric route, a new and more efficient plug-in hybrid 3-series promising fuel economy upwards of 150 mpg will also be added to the range. Our exclusive image gives you an idea of how BMW's next compact executive saloon will look. Despite being all new, its design will immediately appear familiar, with the company's kidney grill and deep air intakes being the standout features. BMW 5 Series Price, from £33,000, EST On sale, February 2017 BMW is launching a raft of new subs and saloons over the next two years, but arguably the most important is the 7th generation 5 series. The all-new exec saloon is a bit longer and wider than before, sits on a new chassis and, with more liberal use of aluminium, weighs up to 100 kilograms less than the outgoing model. BMW 5 Series Prototype Review BMW has also added more advanced autonomous driving features to the active cruise control and lane keeping assist functions, which enable the 5 Series to take over the steering, acceleration and braking inputs. For the first time, a 530E plug-in hybrid version of the saloon will also be introduced, which is claimed to return up to 141.2 mpg and emit 46 g km of CO2. The 520D and 530D diesels will still be the big sellers, claiming 68.9 mpg and 62.8 mpg respectively. An 8-speed auto is standard on all but the entry 520D, whilst drive 4-wheel drive is also available. Citroen C3 Price, from £11,000, EST On sale, January 2017 
The C3 Super Mini has always been a bit of an underachiever, but Citroen is looking to address that with the all-new version, which we've driven. Taking inspiration from the successful C4 Cactus, it gets trademark air bump protection, two-part headlamps, and a minimalist cabin. Citroen claims there are also 36 exterior color combinations, with nine body colors and three shades for the roof, fog light trims, side mirrors and air bump surrounds. A new 7-inch color display has been added inside, which features tech such as Apple CarPlay and Mirror Link. A first for Citroen is its new connected cam technology, designed to record incidents or accidents. There will be five engine options from launch, made up of 1.2-liter three-cylinder petrol units, producing 6.7 bhp, 8.1 bhp or 1.09 bhp. Diesels will comprise 1.6-liter units with 7.4 bhp or 9.9 bhp. A six-speed manual will be the only gearbox choice initially. Citroen C3 Aircross Price, from £15,000, EST On sale, Spring 2017 Citroen will expand its crossover range in spring next year with the launch of the C3 Aircross. It will be a high-riding version of the all-new C3 Super Mini, and our exclusive image reveals that the newcomer will combine the shape of that car with design touches borrowed from the larger C4 Cactus crossover. Expect the engine range to mirror that of the C3, while a switchable traction control system and all-season tires are likely to be offered instead of four-wheel drive. Ferrari Le Ferrari Aperta Price, sold out. On sale, 2017. Ferrari entered the hybrid hypercar class with the Le Ferrari, and now the Italian brand has lifted the lid on the car by introducing the open-top Aperta. It comes with a carbon fiber top and a fabric roof, and Ferrari has added body strengthening so that the Aperta is as sharp to drive as the coupe. Performance from the combined 789 bhp V12 engine and 120 kW electric motor is identical to the hard tops, so 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 3 seconds flat. But unless you're one of Ferrari's select clients, you won't be able to buy a Le Ferrari Aperta, they're already sold out. Ford Fiesta Price, from £13,000, EST On sale, early 2017 The Fiesta isn't only Ford's biggest seller, it's also the most popular new car ever to have been sold in the UK. So, there is a huge amount of pressure on the all-new Super Mini to deliver when it hits showrooms early next year. Previewed in our exclusive image, the new Fiesta won't change dramatically in overall size or shape, because it's set to remain on the same platform as the current version. Visually, the most notable updates will amount to sharper headlamps and a lower nose featuring a wider grille, plus new horizontal tail lights. Bigger changes will come inside, where Ford aims to move the Fiesta upmarket, with a more premium feel and a new infotainment system comprising a touchscreen display. A move upmarket also means a price hike, with entry-level models expected to kick off from around £13,000. The move creates room for Ford's new car and beneath the Fiesta. Ford Focus RS500 Price, £36,000, EST On sale Late 2017 Ford's standard Focus R's has had rave reviews, but the company is working on an even sharper version. Our spies have spotted a tweaked model at the Nürburgring sporting revised bodywork to improve engine cooling. The RS500 is likely to have more than the standard Mega Hatches 345 bhp, while engineers are sure to have stripped out weight to increase the sharpness of the car's responses further. One thing's for certain, as with the previous generation Focus RS500, the name suggests that it will only be available in very limited numbers. Honda Civic Type R Price, from £32,000, EST On sale, late 2017 The current Civic Type R was only launched last year, but Honda will introduce an all-new version, based on the MK10 hatchback, in 2017. It was revealed as a concept at the 2016 Paris Motor Show, 
and bosses claimed the model on the stands previewed a production Type R that was 95% or complete. Under the bonnet, the next Type R is likely to feature the same 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol engine as the current version, but it will be tuned to deliver more power as Honda attempts to come out on top in the hard-fought hot hatch sector. Hyundai i30N Price, from £27,000, EST On sale, 2017 Hyundai hasn't made a serious attempt at the hot hatch sector in the past, but it's going to change that with the introduction of a new high-performance i30N. The tuned model was previewed at the 2016 Paris Motor Show by the RN30 concept, although we'll have to wait until early 2017 before we see the production version, which will spearhead the new and performance brand. Power will come from a four-cylinder turbo engine with around 260 bhp, while Hyundai's engineers have been refining handling at the Nürburgring, Germany. Hyundai Ioniq Fev. Price, £26,000, EST. On sale, summer 2017. Hyundai is looking to conquer the green car market with its new Toyota Prius rival, the Ioniq. The five-door will initially come as a hybrid or a pure EV, and will spawn a plug-in version next year capable of around 32 miles on electric power. The motor is linked to a small petrol engine, to eliminate the range anxiety associated with electric cars. The addition of a FEV will make Hyundai the only manufacturer to provide all three drivetrains in one model, while also offering petrol, diesel, and even hydrogen elsewhere in the range. Prices for the plug-in version haven't been announced, but Hyundai says it'll sit between the hybrid and electric models from around £26,000. Specs will follow the HEV and EV, with a choice of SE, Premium, and Premium SE trims. Alloy wheels, climate control, and cruise control will be standard. The Ionic FEV will hit showrooms towards the middle of next year, and CO2 emissions of around 34 g km will ensure it qualifies for the maximum government grant for plug-in vehicles. Hyundai Small SUV Price, from £15,000, EST On sale, late 2017 As with many of its competitors, Hyundai is expanding its presence in the crossover and SUV markets. And it's little surprise that the company will be adding a high-riding Nissan Juke rival to its model range next year. The newcomer, previewed in our exclusive image, will be based on the same platform as the i20 hatchback, and will share that car's engine range and gearbox options, too. Four-wheel drive may be offered on top-spec models, although Hyundai could follow potential rivals such as the Peugeot 2008 by settling for a switchable traction control system and all-weather tires instead. Infiniti QX50 Price, from £35,000, EST On sale, 2017 When Infiniti launched in the UK in 2009, the X small crossover was part of the lineup. Fast forward 7 years, and a name change to QX50, and the model is still going, although it has never sold in big numbers. The next QX50 aims to change that, and is set to rival models such as the Lexus NX and Range Rover Evoque for desirability. The car's look was first previewed by the QX Sport Inspiration concept seen at the Beijing Motor Show in April, and it's set to get the brand's latest technology, as seen on the Q50 saloon. As the concept gives a thinly veiled glimpse of how the showroom model will look, we can expect the flared panels and crisp LED headlights to remain. Also new will be Infiniti's variable compression engine, which should mix V6 petrol performance with diesel running costs. Jaguar XF Sport Brake Price, from £34,000, EST On sale late 2017. The previous Jaguar XF came as a saloon or estate, and that will be the case for the latest car, too, with a new sport brake set to be launched before the end of 2017. Jaguar's XF executive saloon has already been given an evolutionary appearance, and as this official spy shot reveals, the estate will benefit from a similar approach.
expect the same range of petrol and diesel engines as in the four-door, giving the sport brake fuel efficiency on PAR with the regular model. Boot space should also be better than in the previous estate, which offered a reasonable 550 liters. Jeep Compass Price, from £28,000, EST On sale, early 2017 US Company Jeep has been a fairly minor player in the crossover sector in Europe, but it's aiming to change that by launching an all-new Compass in 2017. The Volkswagen Tiguan rival is set to be based on a stretched version of the platform developed from the smaller Renegade, while the styling inside and out is inspired by the larger Grand Cherokee. It will be sold in over 100 markets around the world, and built at Jeep's new production facility in Brazil. The company will offer 17 powertrain combinations in its latest model, although details on engine options for the UK market have not yet been announced. Still, as the Compass is based on a version of the smaller Renegades platform, we can expect 2.0-liter petrol and diesel engines to be offered. The newcomer will also get the option of a permanent four-wheel drive system to ensure it lives up to Jeep's famous off-road heritage. Kia GT Price, from £24,000, EST On sale, 2017 While Kia is known for producing reliable, stylish family cars, its next model will inject some dynamic handling into the mix. It's planning a rear-wheel drive four-door GT coupe, which will have a look inspired by the GT concept of a couple of years ago. The car is likely to feature new electronics, including torque vectoring, to deliver a sharp driving experience, while its expected 260bhp will come from a 2.0-liter turbocharged engine. Kia Niro Fev Price, £31,000, EST On sale, 2017 The Nero marks Kia's entry into the hybrid family car marketplace, and it offers a crossover-style alternative to the all-conquering Toyota Prius. Like its rival, it will be offered as a plug-in hybrid in 2017. It will share its platform with the Hyundai Ioniq, so we can expect a larger 8.9 kWh battery and more powerful 45 kW electric motor over the regular hybrid, while the 105 bhp 1.6 liter petrol engine and DCT twin clutch transmission remain. On a full charge, the Nero Fev should travel up to 31 miles on electricity alone. Kia Optima SW Fev Price, £35,285, EST on sale, early 2017. The Optima Sports Wagon expands the appeal of Kia's family car, while the addition of a plug-in hybrid variant next year will be attractive to drivers looking to cut costs. Like the plug-in Optima Saloon, the estate model will combine a 154bhp 2.0-liter petrol engine with a 68kW electric motor and a 9.8kWh lithium-ion battery pack. This high setup will give the new car a total power output of 202 bhp and amazingly low CO2 emissions of less than 40 g km, while the hybrid SW is set to command a 1,290 pounds premium over the 33,995 pounds Optima Fev Saloon. Kia Picanto Price, from 8,545 pounds, EST On sale mid-2017. Kia's product offensive for 2017 is pretty relentless, and another one of its key new models will be the Picanto City car, which will take on the Ford Ka Plus. The third generation promises to have more space than the current version, but will still offer a sporty look in contrast with its sister car, the Hyundai i10. Our spy shot of the five-door model shows a new wide-eyed face with LED headlamps. The overall proportions are largely the same as the outgoing cars, but expect slight increases in length and width. That should mean more passenger and boot space inside, while a redesigned dash and center console will reduce the button count and keep it looking tidy. Power is likely to come from the same 1.0-liter 3-cylinder and 1.2-liter 4-cylinder engines found in the latest i10, 
while low emissions and strong fuel economy will give the newcomer a fighting chance in the hard-fought city car class. Kia Rio Price, from £11,000, EST On sale, early 2017 Kia's new Rio is aiming for the top of the super mini class, and its sharp looks will help it achieve this feat. But there's plenty of substance to back up the style. The Rio features a redesigned interior with plenty of technology and more space for passengers and luggage, while the range of engines includes Kia's new 1.0-liter turbo three-cylinder petrol. The diesel version comes with two power outputs, although both are projected to emit less than 90 g km of CO2. Kia Rio SUV Price, from £14,000, EST On sale, 2017 Kia is set to hit the Nissan Juke right where it hurts next year, by launching a super mini SUV. The Korean manufacturer first hinted at its intentions for a small crossover way back in 2013 when it took the wraps off the Nero concept at that year's Frankfurt Motor Show. Three years later and Kia looks ready realize this dream with a brand new mini SUV. Sales in this class are multiplying year on year, as Europe's demand for jacked up super minis rapidly increases. Key differences between the new Rio Super Mini and the upcoming SUV include a raised ride height and roomier cabin, as well as subtle wheel arch extensions and beefier body cladding. It will still be recognizable as a Kia, though, with design boss Peter Schreier telling us, we have built up an identity. Future cars will follow on from that. Land Rover Discovery Price, from £43,495 on sale, Spring 2017. First unveiled in 1989, the Land Rover Discovery has built up a loyal following among buyers looking for a practical and versatile go-anywhere vehicle that's as much at home on the farm as it is commuting to and from the office. However, the new MK5 car takes things upmarket with a more luxurious finish inside and out. The aim is to create differentiation between the Discovery and the Defender, with the Disco representing a classier, more family-orientated offering than the utilitarian workhorse. A new Defender is likely to land in showrooms in 2018. Taking its inspiration from the smaller Discovery Sport, the new Discovery is a sleeker, more sculpted 4x4 than the outgoing car. It's up to 480 kg lighter than before, and comes with a 4 or 6-cylinder diesel engine plus a V6 petrol. Inside there's seating for seven, plus loads of new tech, including nine USB ports and Wi-Fi connectivity. But don't think this luxurious new SUV has lost any of its imperious off-road ability. The Discovery should be more capable than ever when the going gets tough thanks to the likes of all-terrain progress control and the latest evolution of the brand's terrain response system. Lexus LC Price, from £90,000, EST on sale, Spring 2017. Lexus will take on the Mercedes S-Class Coupe when it launches the LC early next year. The brand has been conspicuous by its absence from the luxury coupe sector, so bosses in Japan will be hoping the new LC will make a significant impact. There will be two versions of this new model, the LC500 and LC500H Hybrid. The former features a 473 bhp 5.0 liter V8 and a 10-speed automatic gearbox, which combine to give a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 4.5 seconds. The hybrid model is equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 and Lexus latest technology to deliver improved running costs. Maserati Alfieri Price, from £80,000, EST On sale, 2017 the long-running Maserati Gran Turismo is due to be updated in 2017, and will be joined by a new 2 Plus 2 based on the Alfieri concept. This car is a bit smaller than the Gran Turismo, and has a dramatic look inspired by classic Maserati sports cars of the 50s. Yet it features a stylish cutting-edge cabin with plenty of high kit. Power is expected to come from a trio of V6 engines with 410bhp 560bhp. Mazda CX-5 
price, from £24,000, EST. On sale, summer 2017. We've loved the good looks, punchy engines, practical cabin, and generous kit list of the Mazda CX-5 SUV for more than five years so the prospect of an all-new one fills us with excitement. The MK2 CX-5 will get an evolutionary look, with its styling tweaked to bring it in line with the newer CX-3 crossovers. While the profile is familiar, as our spy shot shows, the shape looks cavia and more dynamic. We expect the fresh car to shed several kilos, too, to boost fuel economy and cut CO2 emissions. Expect a range of frugal petrol and diesel engines, as well as the possibility of a plug-in hybrid. Inside, Mazda is set to use the CX-5 to move the game on with a new or heavily upgraded infotainment system and a host of active safety set UPS. Mercedes E-Class All-Terrain Price from £42,000, EST. On sale, 2017. We're already fans of the new E-Class estate, and now Mercedes is expanding the range with a high-riding version to challenge the Audi A6 L Road. Called the E-Class All-Terrain, the off-road model retains the look of the standard car but with standard raised suspension, subtle black wheel arch extensions and skid plates to protect the underpinnings front and rear. The 4MATIC all-wheel drive system will give the E-Class some off-road ability, while the cabin will be well appointed, with leather, wood and plenty of gadgets. Mercedes E-Class Cabriolet Price, from £42,000, EST On sale, 2017 The impressive Mercedes E-Class saloon and estate will be joined in 2017 by all-new coupe and cabriolet versions. As before, the drop top will get a folding canvas roof with plenty of sound insulation, so it will be as quiet as the coupe on the move. The cabin will get the same first class finish as the E-Class saloon, with leather trim and metal switch gear, plus a raft of high kit. And unlike the old convertible, a rapid AMG E63 variant is on the cards, too. Mercedes E-Class Coupe Price from £38,000, EST. On sale, 2017. The Mercedes E-Class continues to impress here at Auto Express. Our first taste of the saloon ensured it shot straight back to the top of the executive car class, while the roomier estate ticked all the boxes when we tried it earlier in the summer. Next in line is the Svelte Coupe version, which will arrive ahead of the Cabriolet next year. As our spy shot shows, it will inherit its styling from the saloon and estate. UK buyers are likely to get a choice of E220D and E350D diesels, as well as some high-powered petrol units including a pair of OMGs. Mercedes S-Class Price, from £69,000, EST On sale, 2017 LED headlights will be one of the few distinguishing visual changes when the revised Mercedes S-Class caught on test by our spies hits dealers next year, but under the skin there will be some significant updates. Chief of these will be the introduction of a new straight-six petrol engine, which will be offered either on its own or hooked up to an electric motor as part of a hybrid system. The new S-Class will also be a showcase for Mercedes' latest technology, with revised displays and the introduction of a BMW-style gesture control setup. Mercedes AMG GLC 63 Price, from £62,000, EST On sale, 2017 Not content with introducing an AMG trim level to its mid-sized GLC SUV range, Mercedes will launch a full fat, High-performance GLC 63 model in 2017 and our spies have already caught it on the road. As the GLC uses the same platform as the C-Class compact executive car, the 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 from the C63 will be easy to fit under the bonnet. Plus, to help the top-spec GLC stand out, there will be big wheels, bigger brakes and a host of aggressive styling cues, as well as a fruity exhaust note. And with at least 469 bhp on tap, 
the V8 should be able to propel the SUV from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds. Mercedes AMG GT Roadster. Price, from £100,000, EST. On sale, 2017. The latest AMG tuned 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 engine sounds like nothing else out there, and Mercedes is making the most of its biblical soundtrack by launching the new AMG GT Roadster. The two-seater open-top sports car will be offered in standard GT Roadster and GTC Roadster guises, with 476 bhp and 557 bhp respectively. The latter also comes with adaptive dampers and rear-wheel steering to enhance its performance, while the car's aluminium construction has been stiffened to compensate for the loss of the roof. Expect performance to be on PAR with the coupe version. MGZS Price, from £10,000, EST On sale, 2017 The range expansion continues at MG, with the ZS name set to appear on a new crossover that's aimed straight at rivals such as the Nissan Juke. The new model, spied on test, uses a shortened platform sourced from MG's Renault Kadjar-sized GS, with power coming from familiar engines. However, the car will also have a new 1.0-liter three-cylinder turbo petrol engine that is set to appear across the MG range. The ZS will get a look all of its own, too. Many countrymen. Price, from £19,000, EST. On sale, summer 2017. It feels as though we've been waiting years for the new Mini Countryman. Spy shots have been appearing for months, with the revised SUV slowly shedding its camouflage. After the Paceman was axed this year, this will be the brand's only SUV and it's set to take its styling cues from the latest Mini Hatch. Our teaser image released by Mini shows a recognizable front end and distinctive grill. Unlike competitors such as the Mazda CX-5 and Volkswagen Tiguan, the next-generation Countryman looks much more like a beefed-up hatchback than a full SUV. It will be bigger than before, however. The new Countryman is expected to approach 4.2 meters in overall length thanks to a longer wheelbase, which should translate into a more practical interior. Engines will mirror those in the hatch, and a John Cooper Works model is in the pipeline. A plug-in hybrid is also a possibility. Many John Cooper Works Clubman. Price, £30,000, EST. On sale, mid-2017. Many's John Cooper Works tuning division is expanding, with the Clubman estate the latest model to benefit from a high-performance makeover. The JCW features the familiar 228BHP 2.0-liter turbo engine, but Mini has added four-wheel drive so the Clubman can take on fast hatches such as the Audi S3. JCW styling cues include a lowered ride height, bigger bumpers, and red detailing inside and out. Nissan Juke. Price, from £16,000, EST. On sale, Autumn 2017. Nissan is set to unveil a smarter, second-generation version of its big-selling Juke crossover in 2017. Well-placed sources within the company point out that the current car still leaves showrooms at the rate of more than 100,000 examples each year, so the Juke's designers and marketeers have been careful not to upset the tried and tested formula. As our exclusive image shows, the high-mounted headlights will remain, while Nissan's new corporate face will be carried over from the latest cash K. There will be a slightly longer wheelbase for more room inside, while the addition of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will improve tech. Under the skin Nissan will switch to a new platform shared with the recently revealed Micra. Engines will comprise a range of 1.0-liter three-cylinder turbo petrols, as well as a hotter 1.6 petrol and a 1.5-liter diesel. The latter will develop around 190 bhp to challenge hot hatchbacks such as the latest Renault Sport Clio. Nissan Leaf. Price, £25,000, EST. On sale, 2017. The original Nissan Leaf was something of an electric car pioneer, 
and the new model is intending to raise the bar even higher. Nissan is aiming to extend the car's range to at least 300 miles, by using new compact battery tech and a more efficient electric drivetrain. The ID's concept displayed at last year's Tokyo Motor Show gave us a glimpse as to how the finished article could look, and suggested that the new Leaf will have a more conventional look than the current model. Nissan Micra Price, from £12,500, EST On sale, early 2017 There will be more exciting or glamorous arrivals in showrooms next year, but the humble Nissan Micra is actually one of 2017's most crucial new cars. The Super Mini has been outclassed by rivals for some years, so the brand has pulled out all the stops for the latest model in order to steal a chunk of sales from the UK's most popular car, the Ford Fiesta. As a result, the Micra has undergone something of a design revolution, with a bold appearance that has been tailored for European tastes, and a new platform that's shared with Renault. The Micra will also be more practical than ever, and will feature a higher quality interior to ensure the Volkswagen Polo has something to worry about. The level of tech will increase significantly both where you can see it and where you can't. There will be a range of active safety kit, autonomous braking and Nissan's around view monitor, plus buyers will have scope for personalization inside and out. With a range of new 1.0-liter petrol turbos, a diesel, plus potential hybrid and performance models on the cards, the new Micra is a small car to get excited about. Nissan Cash K Price, from £18,500, EST On sale, 2017 Although the new Micra will likely be Nissan's star of 2017, the popular Cash K is also set to get a midlife refresh in the first half of next year. As well as minor trim and styling updates revealed in our spy shot the seat a tech arrival will be the first crossover of its type to feature driverless technology. Called Piloted Drive 1.0, the Renault Nissan Alliance system will feature on the Cash K first, before being rolled out across the rest of the range. Peugeot 5008 Price from £24,000, EST. On sale, 2017. The all-new 5008 has consigned Peugeot's presence in the people carrier class to history, as it follows the smaller 3008 down the full SUV route. While the new 5008 has an off-road look, there's actually more space inside than in the MPV it replaces, as it's longer and wider than before. It's also an impressive 95 kilograms lighter. It's a full seven-seater, and the rearmost seats can be removed completely, while the front passenger seat folds forward to create even more space. Elsewhere inside, the 5008 features Peugeot's new i-cockpit design, which uses an 8-inch central touchscreen, compact steering wheel and new digital dials in place of the traditional instrument cluster. Petrol and diesel engines with outputs ranging from 118 bhp to 178 bhp will be available, while four-wheel drive will be offered at a later date. Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo Price, from £82,000, EST On sale, mid-2017 Porsche is set to offer a more versatile version of the Panamera called the Sport Turismo, which will offer a pseudo-hatchback Kuma State car body. The model was previewed by this 2012 Paris Motor Show concept, and will be a rival for the BMW 5 Series touring through to the Audi RS6 Avant. As with the standard car, there will be diesel, plug-in e-hybrid and rapid GTS, Turbo and Turbo S models offered. Renault Alaskan Price, from £24,000, EST On sale, 2017 Pickup trucks are a popular choice for business users thanks to their tax-friendly costs, and Renault will join the burgeoning sector with the new Alaskan. The four-door double cab model goes down the Katjar route of development, as it's based on the Navara from sister firm Nissan. That means you get a big diamond badge on the nose and a rounded front end, but the rest of the car retains the majority of the Navara's dimensions inside and out. That's no bad thing, 
as top spec models will be practical, as well as generously equipped. Renault Capture Price, from £14,600, EST On sale, 2017 Renault has been delighted by the Capture's strong sales, so is giving the current model an update to keep it fresh in the face of ever stronger competition. That means the Capture will get a revised nose inspired by the latest Megane, while there are improved interior trims and an updated touchscreen infotainment system. Engines will remain unchanged, with 1.5-liter diesel and 1.2-liter turbocharged petrol power plants offered with different outputs. All versions are likely to deliver improved economy and emissions. Renault Colios Price, from £19,500, EST On sale, 2017 The third model in Renault's SUV range arrives in 2017, as the Capture and Cadjar are joined by the all-new Colios. It's the largest SUV that Renault has offered, and is based on the Nissan X-Trail platform, although with a 624-liter boot, it has more room than the X-Trail. The big difference between the two subs is that the Colios will only be sold as a five-seater. Engines will be similar to the Cat Jars, with 1.2 petrol and 1.5 and 1.6 liter diesels, plus four-wheel drive. Renault Zoe Price, from £18,500, EST On sale, 2017 it ranked second in our Driver Power 2016 Satisfaction Survey, but Renault's all-electric Zoe Super Mini is being given a midlife refresh to boost its appeal even further. There are no major changes to the car's styling because the company has focused on what's beneath the surface. Tweaks to the battery-powered drivetrain will more than double the Zoe's range to around 250 miles, while charging times will be reduced. Renault is also likely to continue to offer a battery lease deal to help keep ownership costs down. Seat Arona Price, from £14,000, EST On sale, 2017 Seat is readying a rival for the Nissan Juke, and our exclusive image shows how it could look. The SUV will be based on the Ibiza Super Mini, and is set to join the highly acclaimed new Ateca in seats growing range of crossovers. The car is expected to take styling cues from its larger sibling, with the lights, grille, and roofline likely to create a family link between the cars. It's based on the VW Group's MQB small car platform, and the company has confirmed it will be called the Arona. The cabin is likely to be lifted straight out of the next Ibiza, with connectivity options including Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Expect the Arona to make its debut at the Geneva Motor Show next March. At SEAT's annual press conference earlier this year, boss Luca de Mio said the SUV will be built at the company's plant in Martorell, Spain, and that it will go on sale in 2017. SEAT Visa Price, £11,000, EST On sale late 2017. The current seat Ibiza is now the oldest car in the Volkswagen Group Super Mini stable, having been launched way back in 2008. A new model is overdue, then, and it's finally set to appear in showrooms next year. Seat's previous boss Jurgen Stackman told Auto Express that the new model will feature a design inspired by that of the Leon Hatch, and our exclusive image shows how we expect the Ford Fiesta rival to look when it arrives. The newcomer will be the first model to use the Volkswagen Group's new MQB AO technology, allowing it to increase in weight but shed weight at the same time. The interior will be more than a match for the Leon in terms of quality, with tech improvements and active safety systems available across the range. The engine range will be broadly similar to that in the current car, but bosses have hinted that the Ibiza could potentially be used to experiment with alternative power sources such as plug-in hybrid drivetrains. A sporty Cupra hot hatch version is likely to arrive in due course, too, although not until 2018. Seat Leon Price, from £17,700, EST On sale, early 2017
the award-winning Leon will undergo a bit of cosmetic work in 2017 as Seat keeps its family hatchback fresh. Changes on the outside will be subtle, and are hidden by the disguise on the car our spies caught on test. Inside, the tweaks will be more significant, with Seat adding Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility to help the car compete with newer rivals on technology. The facelift will roll out across the range to include the 5-door, SC 3-door and ST and Experience estates. The Leon Cupra hot hatch will also get a minor reworking. Skoda Octavia Price, from £16,700, EST On sale, 2017 Next year, the Octavia will benefit from a revamp to help it maintain its appeal. The exterior updates are quite significant, and as our exclusive image reveals, the family car will get a sharper, edgier look inspired by the larger superb and new Kodiak SUV. We should see more upmarket materials inside, too, while multimedia connectivity will be boosted with the use of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The engine range will remain the same, although a petrol-powered Greenline model could join the lineup. Smart EV Price, from £20,000, EST On sale, 2017 Mercedes City Car sub-brand re-enters the electric vehicle market in 2017. As before, the Fort Wo range will be boosted by an electric drive variant that suits its urban character well, but this time Smart is also preparing an ed version of the larger 4.4. As both cars are based on the same platform, this will be easy to do, with the electric drive system located at the back under the boot floor, where the engine is positioned in standard versions. The three-phase electric motor produces 80 bhp and 160 nm of torque, and drives the rear wheels. That will be enough to power the Fortwo from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 11.5 seconds, with the 44 taking 12.7 seconds. Top speed for all variants is limited to 81 miles per hour. The new Fortwo Ed will be able to deliver a range of up to 100 miles with the slightly heavier 44 not far behind. The batteries can be charged via a conventional household power supply in 6 hours. Sanjiang Rexton Price, from £23,000, EST On sale, 2017 Hot on the heels of the Tivoli small crossover, Sanjiang is updating the largest SUV in its range. The new Rexton was previewed by the Live 2 concept at the recent Paris Motor Show. Unlike most rivals, the car will retain a ladder frame chassis for outstanding off-road ability, while power is likely to come from Sanjiang's latest 2.2-liter diesel engine. Suzuki Ignis Price, from £10,000, EST On sale, 2017 Small crossovers are currently proving a massive hit with buyers, and Suzuki is aiming to tap into the crowded marketplace with its all-new Ignis. While the name was previously used on a chunky-looking Super Mini, the new car has gone radical in its design, with color-coded bumpers and a chopped-off tail inspired by the company's Whisked Coupe of the 70s. Power will come from Suzuki's current range of petrol engines, including the new 1.0-liter booster jet turbo that features in the Bailano. Toyota CHR Price, from £18,000, EST On sale, early 2017 Another SUV will join the Toyota lineup early next year, with the CHR being billed as a sportier and more stylish alternative to the RAV4. It will be the first model to be underpinned by the new Tenga chassis technology, and since it's bigger than a Nissan Juke but not as practical as an RAV4, the CHR is set to forge its own segment somewhere in between. New Toyota CHR Ride Review Engine options will include a 1.2-liter petrol with 114 bhp and a 1.8-liter petrol hybrid that emits less than 90 g km of CO2. There won't be a diesel in the range, while a 2.0-liter petrol offered elsewhere isn't destined for the UK market. The car will be available to order very soon, but deliveries won't start until early 2017.
Our first ride in the car in June hinted that the CHR has a lot of promise, so we can't wait to try it out. Vauxhall Insignia Price, from £18,000, EST On sale, late 2017 Vauxhall is planning a new look insignia for the end of next year, and our exclusive image shows how it's shaping up. Taking cues from 2013's Monza concept, the family car will get a coupe-like design with a long, sloping roofline and striking new features. It's part of a plan to tempt buyers away from low-end premium rivals, so the car will have a posher feel than at present, without a higher price. A longer wheelbase will mean more room inside, and a new engine range will ensure it's as efficient as rivals. The cabin will get a refresh as well, with large display screens and upmarket materials giving a more grown-up feel. A new platform will also make it over 200 kilograms lighter than the current Insignia, which means it's likely to be better to drive and more comfortable, too. Vauxhall Mediva Price, from £13,500, EST On sale, early 2017 There's a sea change going on at Vauxhall, as its MPV models are crossing over to a new SUV design direction. One of the first products to benefit will be the next generation Mediva. Our exclusive image reveals that the car will get a raised ride height and black plastic cladding, which is likely to be body colored on top spec models. The current car's rear hinged doors are set to be ditched, although the engine range is likely to be carried over. Volkswagen CC Price, from £26,000, EST On sale 2017. Volkswagen's upmarket four-door coupe will be replaced in 2017 by an all-new model that shares its platform with the latest generation Passat. Expect to see a sharper look inspired by the sport coupe concept from the 2015 Geneva Motor Show. The biggest change will come with the far sleeker body and coupe-like roofline, while a more upmarket interior should also help the car stand out. In terms of engines, it's more of the same. Buyers will be able to choose from the range of efficient units from the current Passat, as well as a plug-in hybrid variant, likely to be called the GTE. The concept featured a 374 bhp hybrid powertrain, but that's likely to be toned down. Volkswagen will also tune the chassis and suspension settings to help it deliver a sportier driving experience than the standard Passat. Volkswagen Golf Price, from £18,000, EST. On sale, early 2017. A rapid expansion of Volkswagen's SUV and electric car lineup is at the forefront of Boss's plans for the future, but a facelift Golf will also roll into showrooms early next year. Previewed in our exclusive image and indicated by recent spy shots, the fresh Golf will be marked out by new LED headlamps and reshaped front and rear ends. These changes will be applied across the entire range, meaning updated versions of the GDI, GTE, GTD and R models are all on the way. Inside the updated Golf is where the biggest changes occur. The new model will be the first car in its class to feature gesture control technology. A completely redesigned dashboard complete with a larger 9.5-inch infotainment system will also be added. Engines will be carried over unchanged so the same diesel, petrol, plug-in hybrid and electric versions of the Golf will continue to be offered. Volkswagen Tiguan XL Price, from £23,710, EST On sale, 2017 Not content with having a single model in the crossover class, Volkswagen is readying an extended version of the Tiguan, tentatively called the Tiguan XL. The newcomer has been designed to cater for the Chinese market, but nevertheless there's every possibility it will also be sold in the UK. As our spy shot reveals, the XL has a longer wheelbase than the regular car and an extended rear overhang, which is likely to mean increased legroom for passengers in the back, as well as space for a third row of seats in the boot. However, the classy overall look of the Tiguan hasn't been harmed. Volvo V90 Cross Country Price, 
from 36,555 pounds, EST. On sale, early 2017. The new Volvo S90 Saloon and V90 Estate have just hit showrooms, but now Volvo has completed its large executive lineup by revealing the V90 Cross Country. This high-riding variant is set to replace the old XC70. Like that car, raised suspension and extra plastic body cladding will help it to stand out as a lifestyle estate in the same vein as the Audi A6 Al Road. The Cross Country comes with a four-wheel drive transmission, and will be offered with the same range of petrol, diesel and plug-in hybrid drivetrains as the standard estate. Volvo XC60 Price, £34,000, EST On sale, mid-2017 The rise of the SUV shows no sign of stopping, with Volvo ready to launch its new XC60 next year. Previewed by our exclusive image, the Audi Q5 rival will adopt the best bits from the larger XC90, but condense them into a smaller and more affordable package. It starts with the looks, with the XC60 set to get a pair of Thor's hammer LED headlamps and a prominent front grille. It will even be underpinned by a shortened version of the XC90 S Spa platform, while the 2.0 liter petrol and diesel engines will also be carried over. Later in the car's life cycle, Volvo will also introduce a powerful plug-in hybrid version developing around 400 bhp, but delivering claimed fuel economy of more than 130 mpg.